Hello friends, it's Simone. I'm here to share my currently inked lineup for April 2024. And I have nine pens inked. One pen, one pen came along after I had already chosen the eight that I was pining for. And so I decided I'm making the rules. I am breaking the rules. I will have nine pens inked. Let's just quickly recap what I did in my Project Inkdown video, just in case you haven't watched that. I pulled these four ink samples from my Inkdown box. I was very surprised by this turnout because I had a brown in my last Inkdown, this steeped umber. I also had um, a pen inked with a very similar color. Um, did I put Earl Grey somewhere here? No. I feel this is very similar in color. And then, so that was the first thing that I had. I knew I was going to move over two pens after I decided that these were too close. And then this is the color palette that I came up with. Now, let's check it out. So, I have inked the Lamy 2000. This is a carryover from March. I inked that up halfway through the month. It is a Lamy 2000 in black macrolon with a fine nib. This is a gold nib, 14 karat, and I inked it up with... Um, Nagasawa Kobe Ink Museum Link Lamp Work Maroon. This is my Benu Earl Grey. This is a Goulet exclusive. I purchased it with a fine nib, but I put a medium nib on here and inked it with Pelican Brilliant Brown. I usually don't match or I don't care to match pens with ink colors but if i am not sure what i what pen to pick or which pen which ink to put in what pen then of course um matching the color is a good way to go if you're not if you're indecisive this is my newest pen i didn't share a an unboxing video yet this is the nagasawa 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 Girske in broad. Um, it has a 21 karat gold nib and it is inked with Dominant Industry Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey tea. This is Earl Grey. Earl Grey tea. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black with a medium nib. Also a 21 karat gold nib. It is inked with Rohre and Klingner Altgold Grün. Then I inked up these two pens, which I wasn't sure if I was going to sell them or keep them. So I decided to ink them up in the month of April to just check if my thoughts matched with my feelings when I'm writing or with my writing experience. And just the first impressions were not. Nah, I am going to keep those in my stash. This is, or in my collection, this is the Platinum 3776 Century Shape of Heart in Piano Black or Black. It has a medium 14 karat gold nib. And it is inked with Birmingham Penco Cerulean. This is the Sailor, what? No, Pilot. Um, vanishing point in deep yellow. I originally purchased this with a steel nib and then after the fact purchased a gold nib for this. It is currently the gold nib is in here. It's an 18 karat medium nib and I inked it with Pilot Iroshizuku Konpeki. This one is another new pen for me. I just had to see what the um, Lamy 
limited editions 2024 would look like. This is the Violet Blackberry and it I put a broad nib on this. I purchased it with a fine nib and I inked it with Diamine Rainbow's End. This is a, an Inkvent 2023 ink. I have another Inkvent 2023 ink in here. This is the Benu Euphoria in Jazz. What This was my very first Benu Euphoria. And fun fact, you can screw on a Pilot Parallel um, section. So I have a 2.4 millimeter uh, Pilot section here and the ink that's in here is Lavender Frost. These two are the only shimmer inks in this rotation. And then this is the, a, my new inked pens are both flanked by carryover pens. This is the Scribo Feel in Mosto. This was my birthday pen, 2024. And it is a, an 18 karat gold medium nib. And it's inked, still inked with Sailor Manio Akebi. All right, I am going to put those to the side. I think it's going to put it over here. <clears throat> and then I'll bring out my Rhodia spiral bound notebook. It has uh, 80 grams Rhodia paper. It is lined. And that's where I usually share my currently inked list for this video. So I am going to write April 2024 with this ink but i need something as a pencil board okay so april okay i I think you will see that when I'm using all of my pens and inks. I have a fabulous rainbow. I didn't intend to do that. Actually, when I looked at the swatches that I made, I thought it was going to be a very random uh, color collection, but it pulled together really, really nicely. So this is the... Lamy 2000. I originally purchased this with an extra fine nib, but it was just that tad bit too fine for me. The ink is Nagasawa Kobe. Mm, museum ink. Lamp work maroon. I'm just going to add this on the top, maroon. And the pen, as I said, is Lamy 2000 Black in fine. Um, I'm going to write the case here because I do have quite a lot of gold nibs inked currently. And I'm on that trend. Let's see if that changes. I really enjoy it. The regular nib sizes, extra fine, which I don't have at the moment. I'm not usually an extra fine writer, but fine to broad in gold nibs if I can. And then the specialty grinds in Yovo nibs. So I am, I'm really happy with how my collection looks at the moment. There are some pens that I would like to uh, maybe try, but it's not necessary. At the moment I'm, I'm currently feeling very content again so this is the Benu Euphoria I currently I just recently sold my confetti milkshake that was also a Goulet exclusive and now I'm down to three I think that's a, a lovely number especially considering the fact that they can be um, used as pilot parallel nib holders because that is something that I really enjoy. So the ink is Pelican 
brilliant brown. And as you can see, this has a lovely wet flow and super nice shading. Um, if we compare these two, then you can clearly see that the flow is wetter. It's almost, I don't, I can't even tell. This is very consistent throughout the um, figure eights as well as these, the scribble line. Here you have lighter on top lighter ink on top and then on the bottom it is filled and that is also when I'm writing and that is something that I really like. Euphoria. Uh, Earl Grey. And this is a medium nib. I, I was a bit uh, hesitant or didn't really know where to put this ink because I heard that these Pelican standard inks are pretty dry, but this pen and ink combination seems to be working really well. Here's my newest pen. I will have a video up sometime soon, probably next Saturday. Look at the finial. This is, this pen just gets me. And so I'm, I'm really glad that I saw it on Carrots and Olives, Brittany's channel. And when I saw it, I knew I had to have it in my collection. And then I, I don't know, when I know that I want a pen and I have the budget for it, I have a really hard time waiting. So I waited seven days and then I, and then I got it. So this ink is Dominant Industry. Did I say that? Yes, I did industry Earl Grey tea and this has a super wet flow um, some of my friends so here are this is a sample from my friend Amy she brought this home from uh, Japan however I saw that you can get this ink from Vaness as well if the if you're interested in using this it seems to me that it's similar very similar similar to um diamond writer's blood it could be a little bit drier in the writing i haven't put it in the same pen so i cannot say if that is correct and actually this is one of the only two kobe ink bottles that are currently available from their site and then this one is a sample that I purchased from Vaness quite a while ago. This Dominant Industry All Grey Tea, I actually purchased a bottle. I don't even know where exactly I bought that bottle from, but I have it because I knew that this color needed to be in my collection. And I'm glad that I have it. Nagasawa. Gierske. This is the exact same pen as a Sailor Pro Gear. It's just under their brand, branding, brand name. Um, and it's gold. This one also is available in black with black trim and a black nib as well as rose gold. Um, the two that are available on Vanessa is gold and black. I really like the gold, so I didn't even have the need to choose between um, purchasing it from overseas or purchasing it from Vaness. I just, I just went for the the local store. I really love how this ink flows in that pen. As I think started to say, I thought this was. A dry ink or I heard it was a dry ink but it's not dry in this pen. The next pen is the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black with a medium nib. I really enjoy the haptic feeling of the matte finish. It is very unique to me. This you can hear is finer and it has a little bit more noise 
in the writing, I believe that there is a little teeny tiny misalignment of the tines, but I actually have not taken a look at those through a loop yet. It's not Rohre and Klinger. I was going to say um, Rohre und Klingner. Klingner Alt Gold Grün. It's not affecting me, the, the misalignment, if that's what it is. It's not affecting me as so much that I need to have a look at it right now. I do need to because I'm curious why it sounds like this, but it's if I hold it, it has a sweet spot and then I, it's not even even audible. Yeah, sailor and it's and then it doesn't feel like it's it's well, it's not ripping up the paper, but it, it gets stuck. Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black. I love as well that this feels pretty wet. Um, I'm surprised at how much I really I like those sailors. I wouldn't have purchased as many in such a short amount of time if I didn't enjoy them. But I'm still surprised by how much I like them. This is has been in my collection since. Uh, June of 2023. Previously, I had a green regular um, Platinum Century 377, Platinum 3776 Century. Uh, but then I won this in a giveaway from luxury brands. And so I swapped my medium nib pen with a friend who had a broad nib and wanted to have the medium. Um, <clears throat> I didn't have much luck with the inks I had put into the Platinum 3776 most of last year. And so I really was on the fence whether I should maybe sell this so that I could purchase a pen that I was more interested in. But I have been... This is also a sample from my friend Amy. Uh, I might, I, I must have picked a really good wet ink currently. I have trouble with inks, with dry inks that I put in here. They don't write well. It feels really hard using this pen then. I also made the mistake of putting wet inks into this pen and expecting miracles. And that was also a problem. I don't know why this is working well now, because this is also a wet ink. So this is Birmingham Penco. And you can clearly see that even if you look at the medium nib from Sailor, there is still a difference in line width between those two medium nibs. And I mentioned earlier that I'm, I'm more on the medium to broad and stub nib side at the moment of nib sizes that I do enjoy. And so it needs to be really wet for me to enjoy this. So what is this platinum? I'm not going to write the century platinum. 3776 shape. And I think the pen is actually called shape of the heart. This is a medium nib and it has can't really see it here but this is rose gold trim and a rose gold nib and this is 14k but as I'm writing this I do enjoy it and I feel like it has a place in my collection or at least I don't want to give up on it just yet so I will definitely keep this and actually I'm really liking that I'm even though I didn't plan for this to happen I usually put in my pens and inks into Fountain Pen Companion and then I sort it by color and this is how I write it down. It always brings, puts this into a, a lovely rainbow, but it also happens that all three of my gold medium nibs from Sailor, Platinum and Pilot are 
write after each other and you can see how different they write, how differently they write. This is the Pilot Vanishing Point Deep Yellow with the medium 18 karat gold nib. The reason why I was wondering about letting this one go was because I, um, in February, I think, I tried the stub nib from my friend Nikki and she, and that has a, is a very crisp italic nib. It's more an italic nib than a stub nib. And so you have to ha hold this pen at a specific writing angle. And that just didn't work for me well, work well for me. And so I thought, well, if I always have such a hard time adjusting to this grip, shouldn't I just let it go and say it's not working for me? But I guess, I guess this is just when I have the stub nib on it. And I don't plan to keep that nib. So Pilot Iroshizuku Konpeki. And I'm trying to show you that this is the bounciest nib of them all. Even though the, or that's, even though it's the smallest nib, it's not the one with the most gold content, vanishing point. Deep yellow. And you can hear my kids in the background. They are at home. It's spring break and they are doing breakfast stuff right now. I um, also had quite a bit of trouble in the beginning putting inks in here that would work. I seem to be always reverting to either to the two uh, Iroshizuku ink bottles that I have. This one is Konpeki, the other one that I own is Sukiyo, so I seem to be swapping around quite a bit. Or if I have samples of Pilot Iroshizuku inks, then I'm drawn to put those in here because it seems to be flowing really well out of this nib. Right, this looks really awesome. Let me try and agitate this a tiny bit. Why is there smeariness on here? This is the Lamy Violet Blackberry, and it is inked with Diamine Rainbow's End. I did not like Rainbow's End when I put it in a pen in December of 2023. Um... And now I just, I'm really smitten with this. It's loud, it's saturated. There is some shimmer to be seen here. I don't have any um, clogging issues with this. Lamy Safari. Violet. Blackberry. And it's a broad nib. I do tend to put uh, shimmer inks when I put them in Lamy Safaris or any of the other iterations, the A, AL, AL Sport is the comic or what's the All-Star or the LX Maroon, Marron. I tend to use a broad nib. Let's check really quickly what I had where is it? Rainbows and it's day 14. I had it in the journaler nib from Esterbrook and I did not enjoy this. I swapped out the journaler nib because that felt so dry. What an interesting journey. 0 0.6 millimeter stub didn't work. Journaler nib felt dry. Now this medium nib works, but I don't see any shimmer. So interesting interesting experience on that day i did 
I really wasn't drawn to this ink at all after this experience, but having it in this Lamy Safari makes me want to use it all the time. Well, I only inked my pens yesterday, but I just love how this, how this, how, how this happens, this awesome rainbow. Um, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see what pens you can put a palette parallel nib on and how that works. I have found, or the people from my Discord actually, have found quite a few uh, pens that you can just screw the section in. That's something that you can totally and very easily dry, try yourself. Just be very careful if it screws in and the cap is long enough to accommodate the nib, then everything's fine. And um, pulling out just this section also works for some pens. I only have tried it in the Bennu Euphoria with the Opus 88 and um, what else? Diamine, Lavender Frost. But I'm, I'm still happy to show how that actually works. And then I have a Pilot. Two, 2.4 millimeter section in Bennu Euphoria Jazz. Last pen for now, and I think this is just going to stay this way all through April. I have no complaints about any of these pen and ink combinations so far. Yes, I just said I only did this yesterday. So maybe something will come up along the way. But I am really positive and very happy about how this is um, shaping up. So this is my Scribble feel. As you can see, I have pink ink on my colors here on my middle finger and that is from this pen and I am not so sure why this happens this has happened more than just once I'm wondering where the ink comes from and why it's there so I there that is something that I want to be cognizant of I want to figure out what is happening this is Sailor Manio Akebi. So if I'm holding this, I'm holding my pen is right. My my pen. The pen sits right with the this metal ring right here sits right on my finger. But I'm not touching any. Oh, did you see this? Are you seeing this? I'm not touching any parts that would be giving off ink. I'm I'm curious what is happening there. Um, I wasn't sure how I would like this uh, faceted section. I am happy to say that this is one of the best features of this pen. Um, it doesn't make me grip this pen really tightly because I don't feel like I'm slipping. And they are so... I think it's 12 facets. They're so tiny that they don't interfere or make you, you can grip it like this, you can grip it like this. It still feels as if it doesn't interfere or at least I don't notice it. I just noticed that I don't grip this pen as tightly as other pens in my collection. So what am I writing here? Scribo. Feel. in Mosto. And this is a medium 18 karat gold nib. All right. This pen and ink combination is also really amazing. Doesn't necessarily fit. As I said, I'm not really one who needs to match pens and inks. 
I just really enjoy writing with pens. And when the pen and ink combination works really well, that is what makes me happy. And if you're wondering why my nails are painted, that is because I have, I'm subconsciously picking at my cuticles all the time and it has gotten to a point where I need to do something about it and so I'm hoping by painting my nails um, maybe it makes my hands or fingers feel differently so I notice when I start picking I don't know yet this is a, a new thing that I'm trying um, yes here we go Here's my awesome rainbow that I didn't think I would achieve this month, starting out with these four colors. I also didn't intentionally pick the ink colors to form a rainbow. And if I look at this, I don't see it. I did want to have an orange ink in there because I just was feeling orange for my gearske this was the last one and i think it actually pulled this whole thing together not that this is important at all for a for inking your pens it just is something that makes me abnormally happy yeah this is it thank you so much for watching if you have had any of these inks in any of these pens if you have experiences with what works for especially the platinum 3776 um, inks that you enjoy in there that flow wet i really need the wet ink flow i know that other people really love dry writing experiences that is not me but if you have recommendations for wet flowing inks in the platinum 3776 i would love to hear it let me know your thoughts let me know what you think of these pens. I hope to see you uh, soon. Bye.